All right, so I just thought I'd shoot a quick video um, for everyone in our group um, about cryptocurrency mining in 2021. So a lot of people think about mining Bitcoin um, as the very expensive way to get started, and it is, um, and it might not even be profitable unless you're in a big pool. However, things have changed. So there are companies innovating and making mining actually useful for everyday people. And Helium is one of the companies I wanted to bring to you. So they did an ICO um, and raised $38 million to build out their infrastructure. And so what Helium is, is they're a decentralized network that does Wi-Fi, right? So they have a blockchain, they have wireless technology, and then they have open source software that other people can use. Um, so they started in 2018. Um, they have a team of... Um, a lot of very big companies using their network or planning to use their network. So they have Salesforce, Twilio, Google Cloud, Nestle. And what the network is, is a people's Wi-Fi. So um, instead of building a regular um, network, for example, like Bell Mobility in Canada will spend millions of dollars building a fiber optic network. What they have decided to do is ask people to host wi-fi hubs in their home and when they host the wi-fi hubs in their home they're paid in helium tokens every month and they're paid more if the the wi-fi network's being used a lot so for example places like toronto texas um, new york they're going to get paid the most because the network is used a lot but even a lone investor that's by themselves where there's nothing going on in the network there's a minimum amount you can make per month it's between 20 20 and 80 dollars a month so Helium has big investors, Mark Benihoff, um, Koshla Ventures, they have Google Ventures. Um, so they are backed by really big uh, whales. So that is providing just a little bit of proof that uh, they're a serious company, right? So if we go to the top of their, their website, they're showing that there's 22,000 hotspots or uh, you know thousands of people hosting these hotspots in their home and they're generating money with the helium token right so then they it's long fi so the the purpose of the network is not for cell phone service the purpose of the network is more for internet of things for example you could put a little tag on your your dog and if the dog ever gets lost you'd be able to just track him through gps without him actually having you know cell phone service because he's going to ping these miners in people's homes so eventually they'll have these all over the world and we'll, we'll be able to track our shipments our, our ups packages um, amazon packages at, in real time if they're on this network so these are just pictures of the miners what they look like uh, one of them is an outdoor miner and then there's a bunch of different indoor miners so the miners are made by a third party you have to purchase the miner the the price is around 450 dollars um, and it ranges like some are 400 some are 350 um, there's a backlog so if you order a miner today you might not see it for three to four months because there's such a high demand and uh, they have a controlled you know supply so you're not gpu mining um, the the advantage of this miner is it's cheap for people to start so um, 450 dollars the amount of power it's going to use in a year is around 20 dollars in canada which is really cheap um, where the big miners like Bitcoin miners can use hundreds of dollars a month, right? So the way the network is, right? You have 22,000 hotspots all over the world, mostly in the US and Europe. Canada's starting to catch up, but uh, it, they've built a network. So for example, if there was a shipping truck starting in Canada and going all the way down to Florida, you could track the location of that truck possibly using these helium miners in the long fi now when you get down to you know mexico and south america they're going to have to start to build their network now the, the network is public the, the the thing about a blockchain is it's like a spreadsheet it's tallying all of the activity and all of the information you in, in real time so for example if i wanted to know if my city is profitable i could just take a look and zoom in and i could find a miner for example, on the Canada-US border, there is a miner here. Actually, there's eight miners in this neighborhood, which I would assume this is Maine or Quebec. Just zoom out a little bit. 
So yeah, Holton, Maine, right? So this is the Canada US border or the New Brunswick US border. And someone has built a network here of eight miners. It's probably one person or a group of people that all live close to each other. So you can look at this one here and you can look at the public data to see, is it worth it to mine in my neighborhood? It doesn't mean that you shouldn't buy a miner. You just need to be able to calculate your return. So for example, if you're only making a hundred dollars a month or you're only making $20 a month, it's going to take you, you know, more than a year to get your money back. Now with this miner, it's actually impressive. Um, they've generated five tokens in the last 24 hours at six dollars a token so that's thirty dollars a day they're generating and in the last 30 days they've generated 239 hnt tokens times six dollars so it's over over twelve hundred dollars us that this miner generated and like i said it's 450 dollars. so then you can say okay well maybe that guy got lucky right these two red ones they're not online so let's look at the neighbor what's the neighbor generating And you can take a look at what the neighbor is. So every miner has a anonymous um, status. So you know what the blockchain wallet is and you know what a, a, a nickname that Helium gave them, but you don't know the person's name, right? So this one generated one in, one in a day. So they made, you know, $6 in a day or a little bit over $6. And then 81 times, you know, six, they're over 200, over $300 in a month. So in Holton, Maine, <laughs> This person has built or this group of people have built a network that's profitable for them. So they're going to make their money back in two months. That's amazing in miners, right? And then say this lasts for 12 to 18 months, um, you're making passive income and you can either, you know, hold these coins if you think it's going to go up or you can sell some of the coins or you can take the coins and invest them in other cryptocurrencies. So I think this is a great way for someone who has limited capital to get started because you're, you're almost like starting a business that generates cash flow and you're increasing your, your monthly income. So then I'm gonna just look at, uh, uh, I looked at Oakville, Ontario, right? A suburb of Toronto. And I was looking at a few miners in Oakville, Ontario, and it is crazy. So we'll take a look at this one, take a look at this one. And as you can see, there's only one, two, three, four miners in the area, but they're all probably pinging off of each other, right? So faint red crane if you scroll down in 24 hours he's made five tokens in 24 hours and 214 um, 214 tokens in a month so 214 times six dollars and 21 cents right now i believe that's around what the average is 1300 us in a month right so this is a great uh wow so this one here uh, six tokens it generated yesterday, but in 30 days it did 433 tokens. So 433 times 621, which is the current price of the token, 2688 US dollars. And if you want to know where I'm getting these prices from, you can go on Coin Market Cap. So just type Helium Token Coin Market Cap, right? And you're going to see it's been trading on coin market cap at six dollars and 36 cents um market cap is 470 and i believe it's been as high as seven dollars and as low as in the cents like 15 cents so imagine if you could buy a miner for 450 and you could generate 2600 dollars in a month i mean that's an amazing that's an amazing salary for just someone who's working right 2600 us a month it's over 3,000 a month. So you can pay off your mortgage, you can pay off debt, you can invest into more cryptos. Um, you can do a lot with that. So um, now if you wanna buy the miner, where do you go? Helium dot slash mine, helium.com slash mine. And there's going to be multiple companies that sell, but like I said, um, you can't if you buy today, you're not going to get it this week. You're going to get it in a few months. So for example, if we go to the rack miner, this is the most common miner, and it's made by Calchip Connect. They actually make it in China, but they're you know based out of the States. So 344 US dollars for a miner. But then when you look, this item is currently out of stock but available for ordering. 
that says Canada and US ship and starting summer 2021. So um, then you look on eBay. There are people flipping these miners. So they're buying the miner for $344. They might have used it, who even knows, right? And then they're selling it for $1,250. All right, so you can even look at sold listings on eBay and see what they're selling for, $899, $2,800, $3,000. This is ridiculous, right? People are paying $3,000 so they can get it in one day. Oh, this is a miner that he bought a, um, a special, I don't know if the picture can get larger, but he bought a special antenna for this miner. And... In theory, if you buy an antenna like this, the regular antennas are like, you know, less than five inches. If you buy an, a mega antenna like this, you should generate more money. So there are people just flipping the miners. It's crazy. But anyways, all I want to let you know is about this opportunity. Um, there are ways to get the miner for free. So if you want to get a free miner, let me know. Send me an email. I have a good relationship with um, the company that's selling them or giving them out for free. However they do go on this blockchain right they're going to take 80 percent of the money so you're going to get the miner for free if you want to test it in your area to see how much money um, it's going to make you can do that but the issue is they're going to go in your neighborhood so say um say you're in charlottetown prince edward island in canada right and you want a miner for free what they're going to do is they're going to go to your neighborhood and they're going to look if they can make money because they want to you know they're they are a partner with you right so they're going to go to charlottetown they're going to say if you live here in georgetown we're not sending you one i've been i've been talking to them to say you know what i can build a network i have you know a lot of people um interested they're iffy about it they just want to make money right away right so you're gonna they're gonna come here maybe if you live by these two they're gonna go okay let me take a look sharp flint bird how much is he earning well six tokens in 30 days were not interested right because they want to make a return they'd rather send them to toronto however let me know um because you might be able to build a network so um there you go so yep step one i would say go on explorer.helium.com Check if there are miners in your area. Check what the miners are making in your area. Step two, decide if you want to purchase a miner and wait three or four to three to four months, or you want to try and get one for free and get it maybe in three to four weeks. Then the next step would be, right, make sure you know the rules. So there are simple rules like this miner and this miner, they have to be minimum of 300, 300 meters apart from each other. If they're not 300 meters apart, they start dinging um, your earnings and then your earnings go down. There are other rules that in your local area, when you're putting up um, uh, big antennas, you need to know what antennas you're allowed to do and what antennas you're not allowed to do. So the other thing is the miner is safe. Um, it's not going to hurt you know children or yourself. It's just a, a small five watt um, powered miner. So five watts is less than a light bulb. You know light bulbs can be forty to sixty watts. And like I said, the uh, the average uh, power drop per year is around twenty dollars per year. So there you have it. Um, let me know about the comments. If you have any questions, if I miss something, just you know comment. And if you want to continue to to watch these videos, um, yeah, I'll I'll keep posting some more. And I should have some miners coming in this week, so I should be able to do uh, uh, unboxing and a rating on the miner and, and and give you an update of my earnings in a week. So. That's all I got for today.